In this lesson, we'll dive into the Envy's geometry correction feature found exclusively in the Envy Extreme model and explain how to use it effectively. Geometry correction is crucial for projection systems for addressing various on-screen geometric errors. These errors can arise from several factors, such as misalignment of the projector or the screen, or even an uneven wall. It's common to encounter issues like a wonky corner or an uneven edge, no matter how precise your adjustments. The image just doesn't align perfectly on all sides of the screen. I think we've all been there. It's also quite common to find some points along the edges or the corners that can benefit from fine tuning, even in setups that are nearly perfectly aligned. If you're a bit OCD like me, achieving a perfectly aligned image that matches the screen borders on all sides without cutting off a single pixel can be incredibly satisfying. This level of precision is especially rewarding when watching content that includes tickers, scores, and other on-screen elements. You'll notice how everything appears beautifully straight and even. Once you experience a perfectly aligned projector image, there is no going back. Geometry issues can also be caused by specialty lenses. In our lesson on anamorphic lenses, we discuss how these lenses can often introduce significant barrel or pin cushion distortion, adding a looking through a bubble effect in some cases as well. This adds another layer of complexity to projection setups that geometry control will come to the rescue on. Also, geometric errors can result from intentional misalignments such as when installation constraints require mounting the projector at an angle, leading to a trapezoidal effect. Furthermore, using a curved screen can also introduce its own set of geometric challenges. Aligning the projector and screen perfectly has always been crucial for the best viewing experience, yet it can be seriously time-consuming and frustrating. With the Envy's advanced geometry correction, achieving perfect alignment is straightforward. Just align it as closely as you can reasonably get it and let the Envy handle the rest. Unlike traditional keystone correction, the Envy maintains the original sharpness and does not introduce any artifacts or image degradation, ensuring a perfectly fit image without the need to crop or overscan. Let's dive in and learn how to effectively use geometry correction to overcome these issues. Start by accessing the screen configuration menu and selecting the assistant option under geometry correction. This will display a grid across the screen where you can select anchor points at each intersection. Before we proceed, it's important to ensure that this grid fills your entire screen. It's perfectly fine and typical if there's some overscan in certain areas. However, if the grid doesn't cover your entire screen, this likely indicates that your screen boundaries setup is not done correctly. In that case, please revisit our lesson on aspect ratio setup with screen boundaries to make the necessary adjustments. Also note that the Envy must be receiving an incoming signal to configure the geometry control, even though you won't see the incoming signal here. It's important to understand how geometry correction works. It uses a grid of anchor points that you modify to create an inverse image of the distortion, effectively forming a mirror image that counteracts the original. To make adjustments to geometry, simply use the arrow keys to highlight the anchor point you want to adjust, press OK, and then use the arrow keys to move it to the desired location, then press OK again to deselect it. Let's explore some examples of correcting geometry errors. Before we do, keep in mind that the corrections demonstrated here won't appear perfectly square on the screen where you're viewing this lesson. That's because you're looking at a mirror image of the correction that we're making here. To see the final result, you would need to view the actual projected image using these adjusted points with the same exact misalignment of the projector or lens as used in these examples. For first example, Consider an alignment issue where the right side of the image is slanted outward toward the bottom of the screen, while the other sides are nicely square to the screen. I'll correct this now. I'll do this by selecting the bottom right corner anchor point and move it inward until it's aligned with the bottom corner of my screen. This will perfectly counteract its outward position. Remember, you won't see the alignment fixed here. This is just a mirror image of the misalignment. You will need to view the actual image on my projector screen to see it corrected. 
Now, notice how the Emmy didn't simply adjust this single point. Instead, it intelligently reshaped the right side of the image. If necessary, you can touch up points along the edge to make it even more perfect. Moving along, we discussed earlier how even a well-aligned setup can usually benefit from tweaks to the geometry. For instance, even when not using a specialty lens, it's common to need touch-ups here and there along the edges or in some corners. So keep an eye out for this opportunity to touch up your geometry. Now, let's also look at an example of fixing barrel distortion caused by an anamorphic lens. First, I'll start by pressing the yellow key to clear the changes I've made so far. For barrel distortion, where the edges of the image bow outward, simply pull each of the four sides inward at their midpoints. Notice the colored horizontal and vertical lines, which help you easily identify the midpoints on all sides. This adjustment reverses the distortion, effectively correcting the outward bowing and straightening the image. Here's what the adjustment might look like. First, I'll correct the sides. Now, I'll correct the top and bottom. After correcting for the barrel distortion, you may also want to touch up some other minor geometry issues similar to what we already discussed. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at an example of using geometry correction to perfectly fit an image to a curved screen. Curved screens present a unique challenge because they not only bow outward, but often have significantly more depth in the center than at the edges. With our geometry correction, the Envy can adjust the image to lay flat across the entire surface of the screen, despite the varying depth. This adjustment is crucial for maintaining a consistent appearance across the screen, ensuring all visual elements, especially tickers, move seamlessly without any warp-like effects. Let's create a simplified example of how to fit an image to a curved screen. In this scenario, we primarily need to adjust the middle points at the top and bottom and move them inward to match the curve of the screen, like this. Now, you might be wondering if you can use this same approach to make a regular screen simulate the look of a curved screen in your own theater. And the answer is a resounding yes. Let's press the green button to save and exit the assistant. And voila, we now have a curved screen. Now, this is not necessarily something you'd want to use every day, but for certain movies, the effect can be quite enjoyable. So give it a try. If guests arrive after the lights are out, they might even compliment you on your curved screen, only to be pleasantly surprised when the lights come on after the movie. Okay, now that we covered geometry control and how to use it effectively, it's time to move on to our next lesson.